hello 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 and i am back at mount pleasant cemetery and i got here in plenty of time so i'll have a couple hours here um so right now i'm going to go back and try to find the valentines they're all the way in the back so i'm going to try to find them and continue our conversation This is classic Victorian. Let's take a look. Madro. Fortunately, can't read the names anymore. It's somebody with the last name Modrell. This is fantastic. Now I find why we can't hear, it's so quiet. The landscapers are on lunch. <laughs> this is something, huh? Mers Roth. Got some serious monuments over here. There's another Roth over here. Moffat. Now over here, Dodd. Now if you remember from the Bloomfield Cemetery, a lot of Dodd. And they're over here as well. Johnny C. Dodd, 1861 to 1927. Sarah P. Pierce, wife of Pearson Dodd, 1838 to 1898. She wasn't that old. And Pearson. 1837 to 1905. So we, Dodds are here as well. Scudder family. Wallace Scudder, 1853, 1931. His wife, Ida, 1856, 1903. And Antoinette, their daughter, 1888 to 1958. We got the uh, Gavis family here, but here I'll Zoom in so you can read it. E. Gaddis Plum, uh, June 16, 1897, lost in flight, March 27, 1945, in the command in the Commando On Air Ministry mission. So he died in World War II. Oh my gosh! So sorry about that. Thank you for your service. More. See this huge obelisk. I mean, this is money. Let me 
got the Gaddis family, more members. You got Elisha, 1845 to 1903. Mary, Elisha's wife, 1846 to 1901. And David, their son, 1874. Oh, 1874 to 1877. Nelson Hollyfield, D.D., born uh, May 1845, called to his heavenly home October 8th, 1900. Oh, he was an old. Um, for nearly 13 years, the faithful pastor of the Third Pres Presbyterian Church of the city, dearly beloved in the church and community. So we got a pastor here. Johnston family over here. And we got James Johnston, his wife Caroline. Looks like their daughter and William. I wonder if that's their son. Oh, I know that their spouses are here. Okay, let's go find the Valentines. I don't want to do any ghost hunting here because ain't the landscapers are having their lunch and. Indoor run yet. Born, uh, oh, okay. Oh, died in Berlin. That's before the First World War. Uh, Theodore Runyon, born October 1830, 1822, died in Berlin, January 26th. 7, 18, I can't see. 90, 98? I could be wrong. Uh, Brigadier General, U.S. Oh, okay, so he was a Brigadier General and a Major General. Oh, here, here's his. This is him here, over here, actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Still gotta watch this foot. Uh, Theodore Runyon, 1822 to 1896. Okay, so this is a monument to him, but he's right here. The Odell family. 
then we got the Snyder family over here. Campbell family. And got the Conklins over here. This is the home of uh, John Dryden. Uh, he is the founder of Prudential, which actually is still based in Newark, New Jersey. Um, Prudential Insurance. We have the big Prudential Arena now. This is all started with him, John Dryden. This is some This is what you call an expression of wealth. There is nothing humble about this. And I guess also in living here, in residence, is uh, Anthony R. Couser, 1862 to 1929, and Susie Dryden Couser, March 1870 to Joseph Halsey and family. I'll move back here so you can see.
Joseph A. Halsey was a big deal here in Jersey. Um, Halsey Street in Newark is named after him. sleep in Jesus will bring with him. This must be B. Joseph. January 15, 1796. January 27, 1884. The memory of the just is blessed. Eliza Baldwin. Baldwin family, also very prominent in this area. Wife of Joseph Halsey, uh, January 1799 to March 1864. Her children arise up and call her blessed, and her husband also, and he praises her. Okay. Julia, another child. Oh, Dot died April 21st, 18. She must stillborn or died at birth. Oh, I am sorry about that. Oh, dear. I got another. Maybe. I have to look. It says just died. It doesn't say born. Here. Joseph Sr., son of Joseph and Eliza Halsey, died December 9th. 1881. And Cornelia Baldwin. Died September 19, died September 1908. Oh, yes, I am looking for you. I'm wondering, are you, uh, Joseph Halsey, the patriarch of the Halsey family. We have a lovely resting spot here. I love this tree. Really, it's 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 wonderful. You 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 live you reside under a uh, axe axe reside under a wonderful tree you got um fantastic got a fantastic spot Fool. fool who's a fool so i just thought i would come over here and introduce myself my name is liz i come in peace and i come in love i'm not here to hurt you or make you go away um i'm just here to just to say hello and tell your story and let everybody know that uh, you did a lot for X you. in front of you. Oh, you're in front of me? Okay. You were, you played a very prominent part in um, the history of New Jersey. I don't know if you know this, but in Newark, uh, there's a street named after you. Please continue. Okay. See so your whole family's here. So that must be comforting to have your family with you. I know it seems weird. Anger. Do you have anger? Anger over what? Torment. Torment. Can I get a name, please? Are we talking with Mr. Joseph Halsey? Or any member of the Halsey family?
really is a Don't beach. go there. Don't go there? Alright. I won't go there. I won't go there. Rest in peace. That's right. Are you resting in peace? I don't Unquestionably. Mean... <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. Do you mind that I'm talking to you? Am I disturbing you? Must be unusual to have uh, uh, the living talking to you. But a lot has happened since your passing, technology-wise. Um, not sure if you're aware, but the year is now 2024. You've been gone. Ooh. Almost. I been, know. Oh, you know. Okay. Because they're doing construction, I can almost smell it. Do you have a message for the living? Do you have words of wisdom? You lived life to the fullest, I can see that. Do you have any do you have any advice for the living who are still here? Or better yet, do you have any advice for me as I sit here? Switch to the box. Mr. Halsey, are you here? Or Mrs. Halsey? <laughs> Anyone for <laughs> Anyone from the Halsey family, would you uh, would you like to step forward and just say hello? This Who am I? My name, my name is Liz. I live here in Newark. I say, uh, uh, peace and love. Not here to hurt you or make you go away. I'm just here to say hello and tell you stories. Not many people outside New Jersey know, know about the Halsey family, so I'm hoping to change that today. So, if anybody from the Halsey family so would, like, would like to step forward and say hello. About, about 123 years since Mr. Halsey passed. The year is uh, 2024. Technology has changed. Really? I mean, look, uh, I can talk to you with this box. Now, during your time, seances were all the rage. Her elbow in. Seances were all the rage. And did you, uh, uh -huh. indulge in seances? They
Do you have any words of wisdom? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which one I think? For the living today, for people living in 2024. <laughs> Coming, people coming to visit you? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually here to visit the Ballantines. I'm gonna go see, I'm gonna see the Ballantines a little bit later. Do you have a message for the Ballantines? Did you know the Ballantines? Peter and John? Newark is very different now. I'm glad this has stayed the same. <laughs> All right, Mr. Halsey, Mrs. Halsey. I'm going to leave you now. I just really wanted to stop by and just say hello. And hope hope you are well. May I come, may I come back and visit you again? Thank you. May I come back and visit you again? Never. Never. All right. Oh, I'm sorry you don't want me to come back. I like talking to you. As I always say, uh, the, the, the dead are more interesting than the dead. That's my mantra. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you now. Uh, goodbye. Thank you for speaking with me. Um, I'll let you. I'll let you rest. I'm going to go find. I'm going to go visit the, visit the Valentines. Thank you very much. Goodbye. All right. We'll keep our keep going. much better. They're all in the sun here. They need some nice trees over here. family here. Again, it's all about the show of wealth, even in death. Lieutenant Frederick Compton, Harris Light Cavalry, killed in the Second Battle of Bull. Oh, here we go. In the Second Battle of Bull Run, August 29, 1862. Age 25. He was just a kid.
Actually, it wasn't construction going on in the park here. It's outside here in Newark. Hope I'm heading in the right direction to the Valentines. I didn't, I know they're in the back. You can't escape Mr. Dryden's resting place. We've got the Colton family over here. Smith family. Someone's been forgotten. Poor thing. here a lot of members of the Richards family Made it to the <laughs> Carlos, the superintendent. On the table. On the table is so nice. Um, what a wonderful person. Um, he was kind enough to drive me here. So, if you if you come and visit the cemetery, please say hello to Carlos. Wonderful human being. Um, and he was saying he was kind enough to give me a lift all the way. As I make more trips here and I get my bearings um, and learn the layout of the cemetery, um, I'll be able to find things. He said it looks like closet. The end, but he said it the cemetery actually slopes down and there's a whole nother section. We'll have to make it for another trip. So I'm interested in any member of the Ballantyne family. Uh, John Ballantyne, Peter Ballantyne. I don't know, Robert, I've taught, I think, uh, Robert, I said, I believe in the house, is, is still at the Ballantyne house. I've, but is any member of the Ballantyne family wish to step forward and say hello? I'm very interested in your family, you have an interesting family history. Beautiful home, Mr. John Ballantyne. I've been there many times. I'm sick. You're sick? I'm scared. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, I'm not sure who we're talking to. John Ballantyne died from throat cancer. Um, also, I believe the children are probably here. John and his wife Jeanette had like eight children. Most of them did not make it into, did not live to, into adulthood. I think Robert and uh, there was another daughter named Anne. There might have been another one, but I know those, most of the children did not make it. So it's also possible that it could be the children. Nightmare. You having a nightmare, sweetheart? How old are you? Try. 
crying. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Don't cry. Don't be scared. I'm going to switch to the box. I don't know if anybody comes and visits you anymore. But I would like to become friends of the Ballantines. All of them. Peter, Mr. Peter Ballantine? Have any dog? Uh, the children? Uh, John Ballantine? I know there's a Robert F. Peter's, uh, Peter's brother, I believe, is buried here. Mr. Peter Ballantyne, you donated, <laughs> you donated the gates, you donated gates to Branchbrook Park. Um, they're still Others. there. They're still there. People are still enjoying them to this day. <laughs> I actually live at Branchbrook, near Branchbrook Park. Um, Park, really, you helped found, you know, that you helped develop, because I know you donated 30 acres what is now the park so thank you for that I love the park I love the gates saying I'm, I'm just here in peace and love just here to say hello and tell your stories <laughs> the Ballantine family like to say just to say hello if you're not aware the year is now 2024 you've been living here residing here uh, a long time now it's a beautiful spot as I said the last time <laughs> Like to say hello? I'm just here to say hello. No harm. I mean, you no harm. I'm not here to make you go away or do anything. I'm really just here to say hello to you. I am your friend. I am interested. Just for that. Yeah. Now, Robert D. Valentine, I know, <laughs> took his own life because he felt he had no choice. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> Do you know why Robert took his life? I know his. I believe Robert's brother is here. <laughs> Very sorry about what happened to Robert. And a lot of the children here didn't get a chance to grow up, and I'm very sorry about that too. My name is Liz. I should have introduced, oh, I should have introduced myself. I'm sorry. Very bad manners. My name is Liz. 
and I live in Branchbrook. Yes, yes, yes. I live. I live in Branchbrook Park. I know you know the park well. It's a beautiful park. It's still there. A lot of people, a lot of people enjoy it. I'm specifically interested in talking to the Ballantines. I don't mean to disturb you. I'm just here to say hello and let people know you're here. Maybe more people will come and visit you. These are some of the children here of uh, John and his wife, Jeanette. This is Maggie, 1862 to 1865. And this is our firstborn. How heartbreaking. I don't know who this is. That's another one of the children. And this is Robert D, who committed suicide in the house, in Valentine House. All right, I think I'm going to call it a day. Battery's just about ready to die anyway. Is yeah, I'm gonna go home now. I'll come back another day. I'll bring back the little balls and I'll bring back the pinwheel. All right, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, my battery's about ready to die on my phone anyway. Um, so as always, for entertainment purposes only, like, subscribe, share. We will come back <laughs> and visit the Valentine's. It takes time to build up that trust. Um, they usually, that's why I get so many voices when I go into the park, because I'm there all the time. They, they're used to me, they know me, uh, you know? The Valentines are a little wary of me. I mean, who's this, you know, crazy lady coming in and talk to them after all these years? Nobody comes to visit them. So, it just takes time. So, we will make many, many, many visits. Saying, this is 36 acres. A lot of history here. Um, and that's it. Like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I wanted to show this before. <laughs> I, my battery dies. Um, Alexander Compton Jr., 1874 to 1912. Uh, he was lost. He he died on the Titanic. This is just. He's not here. This is just a marker for him. But this is the Compton family plot. Rest the Comptons there. So, Alexander Compton, Jr.
lost on the Titanic. Poor thing.